In this video I wanted to show you a couple of the fun and useful websites I've come across recently. Um, the first one is wordle.net and it is a site for creating word clouds. So you can paste your text in here or you can put in any type of um, RSS feed here. I'm going to use um, the RSS feed from my web design book review website. So here's my word cloud and then I can go in and change the layout. I don't really like that font so I'm gonna go with something else and I can change the color scheme. That's looking pretty cool. So it's a lot of fun. You can put in anybody's RSS feed, you can paste in text, um, you can also even create your own weighting so you can put in a list of words with the relative weight you want to give each one. So it's a lot of fun to play with and it's kind of useful in that you can see um, you know what your most used words are, which is, means it's like what you're talking about, um, or you can even use competitors RSS feeds and see what they're talking about. The next one is a really fun site that is a drawing application, online drawing application, and um, you can just kind of create really crazy stuff with it. You don't have to be uh, an artist. Um, it just looks cool no matter what you end up doing really. You can change all kinds of stuff, the background color, there's all these settings at the bottom that you can mess with. You can change also the color and it's just really fun. You just uh, wander around the screen with your mouse and it kind of changes depending on if you're going slow or if you're moving their mouse around really fast. Um, I actually created the background on my desktop with it. Um, you can go ahead and save uh, any picture that you come up with. Um, or you're supposed to be able to. Yeah, there you go. So the next one is a little bit more serious. Um, it is called Readability, and basically it allows you to get rid of all the clutter on any article you're reading on the web. So you can first create your settings here. Um, there are just some different looks. Let's go with ebook here. Let's go with some larger text. And since we've got larger text, I'm going to choose a little bit wider. Uh, well, that's odd. A little bit wider column width and then we just drag this button to the bookmarks bar in our browser and now let's go to a website I look at a lot which is NewYorkTimes.com and we'll just look at the top article here okay giant ad thank you so we look at this article and there's all these ads over here and links to other articles, etc. Click on this readability bookmarklet and you've got the single article that you want to read in a single column, no fuss, no clutter, really nice. So the last one is also a highly functional website. It's also very well designed and clean and it's just a to-do list so I can just add some to-do items um, to any day that I want to um, and I can cross things off once I've completed them I can uncross them off um, everything that I don't get done today will automatically be moved over to tomorrow when I look at the website tomorrow. And there's also this nice section down here for stuff that isn't going to happen today or tomorrow, but you want it to happen someday. So it's really simple, does one thing really well, to-do list. So that's four fun and useful websites 
that you can check out.